think I'm convinced that certain pipes just don't smoke good. You know, jum pipes are, are uh, you know, kind of a wide, shallow bowl, but this uh, Brebia. Neat looking pipe. Just not the best smoker. So you ask why am I smoking it? Because um, the rest of my pipes are out there in the snow. And I've got a handful of pipes in the house here. Cold out. <laughs> I think it's at night here. Ugh. <clears throat> In our fridge out here outside, uh, pretty much hasn't been running. Food is freezing on the inside. Something weird going on with my hair. But anyway, our pipes are frozen. Water line, sorry. And uh, pretty much my day consists of hauling water from the spring about a half mile down the road. Fireplace going. Going into work. You'd be amazed on when your water doesn't work in your house. You know, you don't have a shower, you don't have hot water, you don't have toilets, so you got to haul water for um, all that. We actually you're using an air pot. To keep warm water in for washing our hands, filling the toilets to flush. I had more plans of things to get done this weekend, but that didn't happen. So I can set this somewhere. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, the bottles are frozen. <laughs> there we go. But anyway, smoking some McClelland AM pipe in this Brebia Lido. Uh, I wanted to get a video done, you know, with the snow and everything. But um, it's just been so busy. here in Oregon, um, the Grandma's, which is kind of out in the county. The water's on a spring, so when that freezes, there's no water. And uh, for those of you who keep an eye on my videos, um, on Thanksgiving morning, there's that Ruger out, our blue healer, and uh, I think he went in search of his uh, elk legs. I got an elk this year. Um, during hunting season, we skinned up the legs, the bottom part of them, and gave them to him to chew on. I think a coyote had dragged it down the driveway, which we have a 500 foot long hill of the driveway. And um, he went down, I think, checking him out, or I don't know what he was doing. He went down to the roadway on Thanksgiving morning. He never does. He always goes behind the house up into the woods where all the deer are at. And uh, he got hit by a car.
car. And we found him, we let him out, we let our guard down, didn't think he would go down there. And he did. So, uh, we lost Ruger on Thanksgiving. You know, uh, that was not at all what we expected, but you know, it's our responsibility to take care, you know, of our dogs. Our pets, things like that. You know, moving up to Oregon, um, we love it up here, but it's been rough. Things have not come like you would think. You think if you work hard, then you will succeed. You will get a place, you will have fun, things like that. And I don't think um, you can't earn that. The people that do have all that think that they earned it and they didn't. Um, basically, it's a blessing from God, and God can take that from you at any moment. I'm not mad at God. I'm scared of God and um, not sure what He wants me to do. But I can tell you the jobs aren't coming. We have, I make just enough money, just enough money to pay bills, and that's it. So I'm thankful for that. There's other things, you know, like healthcare and so forth and so on that you do without. But, um, we do have a new dog. Um, we don't have any kids. And I never thought of my pets as being my kids. And then when Thanksgiving happened, um, I was beside myself, and so was my wife. And then I couldn't imagine how people would feel when they lost, you know, a child. I was like, I would, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't make it. So we were able to adopt a uh, red healer. And her name's Bella. And I thought of that um, name. We call her, Isa her name is Isabella, and it means consecrated to God. Uh, but we call her Bella, or Portabella, uh, for short. I thought about, you know, Mark's dog, Bella. I thought, isn't that interesting that we named it Bella? And today, while we were out getting a Christmas tree, um, we, uh, another dog came up to our dog, and um, her name was Bella, which is one of the most popular names for dogs. I think it's the top, one of the top four names. Um, we found this red healer in a, uh, in a shelter, and it wasn't a no-kill shelter. And we found her, um, and she's just the sweetest dog. So we talk about a healer healing your heart. It had to be something from God. Would you like to see her? Okay, is this not gonna move? <laughs> Put my pipe down by the poison. Let's go see her. It's a Bella. Hi, Bella. Say hi, Bella. So sweet. 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 So, that's Bella. Um, we got her, and she actually, um, we found out after we got her that she didn't have any front teeth. And they thought that could either be from, um, you know, being in a kennel, chewing on the kennel, or fleas, or... She's only two or three years old. She has no front teeth. She has her large teeth, but she has none of the, the smaller front teeth. So, 
took it to the vet though, but he said it wasn't much of a big deal we thought it would be. So for any of you out there, if you want to pray for us, um, and that Bella, you know, has a good long life, we have a good long life with her, and any prayers that you want to send our way. Um, I'm asking for Mojo. Sorry, Jay. I'm asking for prayers. Prayers are uh, strong. Mojo is like saying, I wish. There's no I wishing in life. Um, there's prayer, and there's asking the Lord um, to help you. When you're at your, you know, end, when you're at your wit's end, so to say. So Piper Phil, anybody out there that wants to pray for us, um, I know Ragbomb does um, every day. So I thank you for that. I'm get on here and get off here. Finish cooking dinner. See you guys later.